The Mach number is the most popular non-dimensional number in aerospace engineering and fluid dynamics, especially for high-speed compressible flow. Often it is written as M for Mach number, and it's the ratio of the local velocity of the fluid, that is its magnitude, divided by the local speed of sound. This value changes in space and time, typically through a flow field. U might have dimensions of meters per second, and C has dimensions of meters per second. The ratio cancels the dimensions, and that's why we call it a non-dimensional number. It has no dimensions. Here we call it a non-dimensional number because it is dimensionless. It was named after Professor Ernst Mach, who is shown in this photograph on the left. Though he did not ascertain the number himself, a committee in a conference named it after him. A lesser known way to think of Mach number, though it is more physically intuitive for some, is to think of it as a ratio of the kinetic energy divided by the internal energy in space-time at a point in the fluid and take its root. So we might say that the Mach number squared goes as the kinetic energy at a point divided by the internal energy of a point. And you might say, well, why is this the case? How can we write this equation? Well, we can go over here on the left and write u squared, that's the velocity squared divided by 2, which is a kinetic energy, and divide it by the internal energy E. That's what we have proposed in this proportionality. So we have kinetic energy divided by internal energy. We can take E in this equation and replace it by C sub V T. C sub V is the specific heat at constant volume, and T is the static thermodynamic temperature. That's shown in the second equation, E equals C sub V T. Then we'll take C sub V and replace it by R over gamma minus 1. R is the gas constant of the fluid. Gamma is the ratio of specific heats, which is C sub P over C sub V. Then we're going to use the relation C squared equals gamma RT. C, as you recall, is the speed of sound. Gamma is ratio of specific heats. R is gas constant. T is temperature. We multiply the third term by gamma over gamma, and then we'll have a term gamma RT, which we replace by C squared in the denominator of the fourth term. You'll then notice we have a value in the numerator as u squared and a, va and a value in the denominator, which is c squared. Obviously, m equals u over c, and then m squared equals u squared over c squared. We make the replacement, and now we have the kinetic energy divided by the internal energy goes as gamma times gamma minus 1 over 2 times m squared. We could write m squared equals u squared over 2 divided by the internal energy times 2 divided by gamma and gamma minus 1 to have inequality, but most people will write it as a proportionality. This is an alternative way to think about flow fields that are high speed and that the kinetic energy dominates the internal energy of the flow.